Hello again. Uh, our address today is called A New World Order. And it's based uh, on our scripture uh, for today, the visit of the Magi. The visit of the Magi does not really fit very well with the traditional children's nativity play. That's because it starts, as we are told in the verses that we've read today, that um, after Jesus was born. In verse 11, we learn the family was living in the house, so they're not still in the stable. And in verse 7, Herod asked carefully about when the star appeared. That's not something he would have had to do if it had uh, burst into light uh, suddenly the previous night. The fact is, these Magi were very important people. Important people don't just rush off. They need preparations. Uh, travel has to be arranged. Uh, they have to organise uh, for their absence with their minions. They need flunkies. Of course, they were fashionably late, about two years late, actually. Quite apart from the travelling time, and uh, uh, you have to remember that the, the, these are like the scientists and worse, philosophers of their day. There would have been much time spent checking facts and figures and deciding things in committees. Of course, really important people had already been alerted. The really important people had been given the message. These VIPs were, of course, the shepherds because Christ was here for everyone, from the lowest to the highest, and most especially for the lowest, the poor, the dispossessed, the cold and the hungry. Doesn't it make you proud to be common? The trouble generally starts, actually, when people who think they're important get involved. The Magi made no secret of their mission or its implications. Why would they? They were coming to see the future ruler. He would be pleased to see them because, after all, they were important. When Herod heard about all this, frankly, he was a bit miffed. He thought he was the important one here. He had been doing great works. He'd been reigning for nearly 20 years at this stage. He'd been a great builder. He'd rebuilt the second temple. He'd expanded the temple mount. He'd built fortifications and palaces and what have you, and statues and marble bits and pieces, you know, complete with 20 bits. And he'd been building all across Judea. And here he was being relegated to an also rad, a bit part player. And from his petty peak came a tragedy, the massacre of the innocents. He died shortly afterwards of uh, an agonizing disease, afterwards called uh, after him, uh, Herod's lament, uh, ailment, uh, and typically he ordered that much of the nobility of uh, Judea should be put to death when he died in order to make sure that he'd be properly, properly mourned and remembered. His orders were not carried out. But there are some important lessons in this for all of us. 
Self-importance critically comes from that word self. No one is indispensable. No one can claim posterity by good works, good publicity, or even, as it turns out, by evil deeds. The most important of us can do little in our own power and nothing at all in the face of the power of God. We like to think we could order our own world, but we are all subject to God's plan. If it's not in the plan, it just won't happen. I plan to organise a service today. Look how far it got me. Shows what I know, doesn't it? And all the time that we are building our own edifice, we may truly only be creating the foundations for some tidy part of the work of God. Pride, they tell us, comes before a fall. So trite, but so true. And when we are thwarted, we are tempted to become vindictive. That is sadly a common enough condition uh, in human nature. And it seems to become more prevalent and more all-possessing in people who have a degree of temporal power. Be grateful if you are relatively powerless. It is a great protection. And finally, remember who and what you are. If you are one of the little people, then Jesus was sent to earth for you. The first shall be last, remember, and the last first. Those who have no power but the power of their faith will be elevated to sit at the right hand of God. We should all of us use whatever gifts we have been blessed with in his service, remembering always that his plan may be hidden hidden from us, but remember also that his plans for each of us are solely for our own good. Bless his name and bless the name of Jesus who sits at the right hand of God and intercedes on our behalf. This is the true new world order. Amen.